Hello friends. So yesterday we had the poem, Childhood by Marcus Snatton, a Norwegian poet. Today we will just go through the, the possible questions. There could be many. I have here a 12 questions. You can have a 12 plus. You can rewrite the question. You can change the, uh, the, uh, the focus of the question and so on. That, that way you can make any number of questions. So here, let's see a sample here. To begin with, how did the poet come to know of the loss of his childhood? Uh, he came, the poet came to know about the loss of his childhood when he realized that hell and heaven are imaginary places, one. Two, when he realized that uh, the hypocrisy of the adults, that they preach one thing and do in a different way. Means they don't preach what they practice. That is, and the third is when he got his uh, freedom. He was he started enjoying absolute freedom. He says, "No, that is uh, my, but my own and mine alone." So at that time, he felt that he was childhood loss of childhood, loss of childhood. So you can say in the, in the positive is again the gain of childhood. So that question can be. Rewarded like this, when does the poet, when did the poet come to know of the gain of his self? Isn't it? That way also you can reward the answer. We will reward the question. Second question, why does the poet say hell and heaven do not exist? That is a very simple question for you. Hell and heaven not found in the geography. That is probably you have taken a map of the world and uh, scanned it, as I told you yesterday. There is no hell and heaven. You, you saw, he could see Antarctica, Alaska, <laughs> such places, but not hell and heaven. Alright. Then, question, what are the thoughts of the poet about adults? Thoughts of the poet about adults, they are hypocrites. Is that it? They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Is it? They, they talked of love, they preached of love, but they did not practice it. Alright. Then, fourth. In what way does the poet express his euphoria over his independence? Euphoria means height of happiness, great happiness. No? That is, he says it is, so that, that is, but my own and mine alone, that is the euphoria. Producing thoughts that were not those of others, other people. That means, I, when I, I stopped coping the ideas of other people, I produced my own ideas. At that time, I felt this euphoria. My own is this. And uh, fifth question, what is the significance of when and where in the poem? When tells you about time, where tells you about place. That's so, <laughs> There are three times is no. Uh, when did my eye child was it the day I ceased to be? So time. Wa was it the time I realized? Then when did my child go to go? Was it the time I realized that adult? Again, was it the time I find my mind? Where did my childhood go? And he says, it went to a for some forgotten place. So when is, when is time and then where is place? Always. Explain title childhood. There's I know the childhood as it is general, applicable to everybody. But in this poem, you can see my, my, my that the possessive adjective is repeated four times. My childhood, my childhood, my childhood, my childhood. So therefore, childhood, in this poem, it is his childhood. But as such, the title can be anybody's childhood, so it can be just got a universal application. Right? Is the poem about loss and gain? What is lost, what is gain? Yes, it is about loss and gain. What is lost is even childhood and what you gain this your adolescence. The freedom, the discovery, new discoveries made. That is, uh, hell and heaven, they are only imaginary places. Secondly, that you have the adults, they preach one thing and practice something else. Hypocrisy in one way, we can say. And thirdly, I started enjoying my free will, exercising my Exercising my free will, yes. And then you have what next? Explain my mind was really mine. That is, is that the thing? Yes. Uh, what the poem gained, I think that's we have done. Is the poem about loss? 
Hey, explain my mind was really nice. The great euphoria, celestial ecstasy, if you want to put it like that. <laughs> Heavenly bliss, what is that? Independence. That's what adolescents want, at that, at, that, at that level people want. They want to be independent. They don't want to be guided by others. They are, in a way, gentlemen rebels. They are gentlemen rebels. Listen, so that's it. And next, what are the three training points the boy refers to? Refresh here. Three turning points. We have seen this again and again. One, hell and heaven, uh, not a place. Two, hypocrisy and three. These are the main points in this. And three, you have got the independence. And then, why does, where does the boy seek his childhood? It is simple, an infant's face. He seeks, he seeks his childhood in an infant's face. That means, in that a stage of life, Infant space means not a particular infant space, but that stage of life. That stage of life when infants are guided, infants believe all things that they are told, and infants uh, could not have their own opinion, and infants adored their adults, parents, and this. So that is, at that time, that is where you find it. That stage of life, not that person, that stage of life you find it, the childhood, isn't it? Yes. It childhood went to some forgotten place, that's play. Forgotten place, that means it will never come back. Irreversible. You cannot reverse it. That's the meaning. Childhood, once gone, gone forever. So it is irreversible. The process is irreversible. That is forgotten place means. Then what is the attitude of the boy towards the end of the run? That's all I know. That means a final resigning to the fact. The reality. Reality has dawn, dawned on him. D A W N E V dawned on him. So he said, that's all I know. So that is the kind of resignation. Next question is not written here, but you can see the answer here. That is, what are the literary devices or poetic devices used by the poet? You can say rhyme. A, B, B, C, C, D. First line you give A, second line B. If the repeated B, then third line different C. If repeated C, then next line, if you find uh, B. A, B, B, C, C, D. F, D, S. Then that is D. So that is the uh, rhyme scheme. Then, refrain. Refrain means a repeat, a lines repeat. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be loved? When did my childhood go? Was it the time? When did my child? That is refrain. Of course, that creates a kind of say, musical effect in the poem. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Next, antithesis means two opposites, hell and hell. That is antithesis means. Alliteration. Alliteration is my mind. There are not many alliteration points yet, but my mind, M, M, repeated. Alliteration means repetition of uh, consonant sounds in two or more words, same consonant sound. And then inversion, inversion is, it was the day, was it the day. That cannot be, uh, it's not a very important thing because it is an yes or no question. Was it the day, it was the day I ceased to be. So, was it the day. So that is, you can consider that. One more you can answer are three questions. When did my childhood go? That is a question, as an open-ended question. So you can say it is a rhetoric, R -H -E -T -O -R -I -C, rhetoric questions. Means you don't expect an answer from anybody. He himself gives the answer. I think with this speech, you, we have discussed the point and whatever you want to know, we have gathered. Uh, I think you are satisfied. So, Please uh, continue watching my channel. I will be taking more classes for you, uh, class 11 and then class 12. Uh, but before we go, let's repeat this. Let's wash our hands and flush our Quran. So that's a slogan for this week. Next week I will give you another one. So till we, till we meet again, bye, have a nice day. Now, as I told you, you can have any number of questions like this, you know. 
when did he realize that uh, uh, hell and heaven are imaginary? Uh, he realized that hell and heaven are imaginary when he, uh, when he became an adolescent. Like that. You can ask any number of questions, simple questions like this. So, these are just some of the questions that you can. And I ask you now, uh, before three questions, the answer is the same. So that way you can uh, look at the poem. I think everything is clear, as daylight. So till we meet again, bye, have a nice time. Enjoy your life, but keep special care. Take special care of your health. Bye.